Um, welcome everybody to the Student Resources Campus Live session for DKU Bound. My name is Ting Su and I am part of the International Enrollment Management Team at Duke Kunshan University. I'm ex excited to have you all here. Congratulations again on being admitted to DKU's class of 2028. So this session today will provide great insight about um, campus life at DKU. And we have speakers from various student service functionality, and I will let our guests introduce themselves, but let me start off by introducing um, Han Ji Wang. The mic is yours, Han Ji. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm the Assistant Dean of Student Affairs, and I'm mainly focused on uh, Chinese student services. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let me uh, share my screen first. Uh, so um, my, um, my area is the Chinese student services. So you might ask why I need to be here to <laughs> introduce my country, uh, my, my office since um, actually we are mainly focused on serve for our uh, Chinese students uh, kind of mobility and transition. But um, uh, besides that, we will still have our uh, mission and goal to serve uh, all the students. Our mission and goal is to cultivate students to be ethical citizens who are culturally empathetic and uh, self-fulfilled uh, by providing functional services and activities within and beyond campus related to community engagement, experiential uh, learning and the leadership uh, development and further inspire students to contribute positively to communities in their lifelong journey. So actually, um, the main areas we uh, oversee is uh, just uh, uh, listed here uh, for the eight elements. So uh, Chinese, there includes uh, Chinese cultural history promotion events, volunteer services, social practice and a cross university visit. And also we have some um, services um, specifically for the Chinese students, for example, uh, some uh, CPC and the youth league related issues and military training, Huko and Dangan trans transition and also the uh, Chinese parents uh, communication. But today I will just uh, focus on the, the left part since the, 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 right, uh, the right part is uh, just regarding the Chinese students specifically. So, uh, so for the Chinese cultural history promotion events, we organize uh, various events every semester, which are open to all community members and let them to go deep dive in China and experience um, Chinese culture and history from different perspectives. So you can see we have the uh, tour China in this Bazaar. So we will invite um, Chinese students from different provinces and the districts to promote and showcase for their hometowns, uh, such as food, uh, dialect, and the souvenirs, landmarks, which attracted hundreds of students and faculty to working and drop by, uh, usually uh, in each uh, four, I think that October or November. And also we have the uh, traditional Chinese medicine on campus. So we will invite the uh, uh, therapist from the uh, traditional Chinese medicine hospital in Kunsan. So we'll invite them to uh, campus. Then they, they will give students uh, some uh, traditional Chinese therapist, for example, a uh, cupping, gua sha, acupuncture, and also uh, drink and let students to taste the Chinese medicine tea and uh, help students to make Chinese medicine uh, sachets. And also we have another uh, event called the Discovery Journey of Intangible Chinese Cultural Heritage. So we will uh, bring students to uh, Ba Chen Old Street to experience the cloth and wire cutting. And also we will bring students to the to visit Suzhou Imperial Gold Bricks Museum. And besides that, we will um, 
lead student to visit Shanghai Museum of, uh, of Revolutionary History. Uh, that's the actually our traditional Chinese patriotism uh, educational base, but um, every year, um, some of the Chinese uh, international stu students will be attracted attracted by this event and join us as well. And next is our uh, experiential learning. We call it "Do It as a Farmer." So we will provide uh, some experiential activities for students to learn uh, agriculture knowledge and improve their awareness of saving food and the uh, hardworking uh, spirit. And uh, we also will celebrate the Chinese uh, typical festival. Um, and for example, Mid Autumn Festival, China National Holiday. So in, um, in Chinese, um, uh, in Mid Autumn Festival, we will let students to uh, to do the moon cake and also to DIY the uh, moon, light, moon lantern and also to do some calligraphy. And also we will uh, cooperate with athletics to uh, initiate some cycling events to celebrate our Chinese Youth Day to let students to uh, just uh, uh, ride a bicycle around uh, Quinsan City. So uh, this is for the uh, Chinese cultural uh, promotion events. So the second one is for the volunteer services. So volunteer services uh, will provide students with different opportunities to donate their time, enthusiasm, skills, and energy to a local community and uh, a society. So usually we will cooperate with the uh, local community to um, to provide some English courses or the drawing course or the art uh, handicrafts course to the uh, those kids or teenagers. And also we have the chance to uh, bring students to the uh, other uh, province, uh, maybe in rural place, for example, in uh, Guizhou province, so aim to uh, help local left behind students. So we will uh, provide support from volunteer teaching, uh, club events, mental health care, to academic materials donations, home visit uh, that are in need for the children and the uh, teenagers there. And uh, um, besides uh, work with the local community and the other uh, rural place um, government, so we will still focus on um, the volunteer pro, uh, volunteer chances within our campus. So uh, to help to uh, build a good learning environment in library and enrich the uh, on-campus volunteer service experience. So volunteer uh, association worked with library to find opportunity, uh, find volunteers to shelving and maintaining the books in order uh, weekly. So the third, a third part is the summer social practice. So the summer social practice provide opportunities and resources in exploring the uh, social status or public social concerns in local communities. Uh, in the past, we have organized exploring uh, minority groups uh, in Yunnan and the Sichuan province. So this year we are planning to uh, lead a Dali uh, Jian Chuan social practice, so which aims to enrich students' understanding and appreciation of the uh, unique cultural uh, tapestry of the Jian Chuan Bai community through an immersive exploration of folk customs, art, architectures, tourism, and economy. So the last one is the uh, cross university visit. So every uh, Mid March, we will lead uh, about 30 students to pay a cherry blossom visit to Wuhan University, which is the DKU partner university in China. So students uh, will have the campus tour, uh, learn about the history of Wuhan University and communicate with the faculty and the students from Wuhan University. 
And you, in return, one university delegation would visit DKU in fall and have similar trip in campus. So we really welcome um, more and more international students can join us um, for all those events. So that's all for my sharing. So here is our um, uh, email address. If you have any question about what I have said, you can email us and uh, you can explore more events uh, initiated by our office. Thank you. Thank you, Hanji. And uh, I will let our next guest introduce themselves. All right. Thank you. And hello, everyone. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good middle of the night, uh, wherever you are watching this live or um, on the recording. <clears throat> My name is Charlie Clausen. And I'm the Assistant Dean for Residence Life, Student Conduct and Leadership Programs. Um, Residence Life, um, one of the things that we're trying to do when you live on campus is create opportunities to live, learn, and lead while you develop yourself as a holistic human being. So that might sound really nice, but just to talk a little bit about what that really means. When we're talking about living, uh, we mean that we want to help you develop a sense of belonging. Uh, we want every student... Um, who comes to DKU to really feel and be a part uh, of our DKU community. There's a four-year residency requirement for undergraduate students, which means that you'll be living on campus with us uh, for all four years. We are very excited to be in our new phase two facilities um, where we're trying to, to build up uh, even smaller communities within our courtyards. Think Harry Potter, if you're familiar with that, the idea uh, is that you'll be placed in a courtyard your freshman year, and you'll be able to stay in that courtyard for all four years, developing really close relationships with the about 500 people who live in that court hard, courtyard with you. Um, a question that often comes up is hall closures. During the winter break, I answered this in the chat already, but during our winter break, the residence halls do close. Uh, so wherever you live during the fall and the spring, um, that hall would not be accessible. That room would not be accessible to you during our winter break, which is about three weeks. Usually, we do uh, offer a number of different support mechanisms for students. We negotiate a lower hotel rate locally in Kunshan. Some students find that uh, desirable. We encourage folks to uh, travel China. Um, not a whole lot of China is on what we have for winter break as a winter break. So it can be a great opportunity to, to travel and see the country, uh, possibly visiting um, Chinese friends, families, hometowns. Um, and we also have uh, on-campus accommodation that again is a separate room, um, but we, we have offered that uh, for pay during the winter break. During the summer break, that of course is much longer. Similarly, uh, the, the residence halls are generally closed. So wherever you live during the school year, you would not be able to stay in that room during the summer if you were here for the summer. Um, our summer assignments are limited to people who are um, engaged in a, in a proved reason. Uh, typically that's a, a sponsored research program through our undergraduate studies office. A little bit about how you get paired. There's a lot of questions about this. So with your roommate, um, as a first year student, you should expect to have a roommate. Um, we think that that's an integral part of, of developing um, into an adult. We think that's an integral part of engaging and, and becoming integrated also in our community. Uh, so as a first year student, you should expect to have a roommate. Um, there may be just very limited singles uh, depending on how big the class of 2028 ends up being. And how we pair your roommate in the room assignment application, uh, which will be coming out in, in May, June, be on the lookout for an email from Residence Life about that to your DKU email. We'll ask a number of questions uh, about your lifestyle. When do you think you'll be going to bed? When do you think you'll be waking up? Do you smoke? Smoking's prohibited within the residence halls. Uh, but we'll be asking questions like this uh, to, to do our best to pair you with somebody who we think has a compatible lifestyle with you. As a first year student, um, we don't accept specific roommate requests. And as international students, 
all of you will be paired with a with a Chinese roommate. That again is part of what we're trying to do, both to live and get you integrated um, into China and and the culture. Um, it's also a great opportunity to to learn, which I'll talk about more in a moment. The floors um, that you will live on are generally first year only. There may be uh, a small sprinkling of upper class students living on your floor with you, but generally it's a it's a first year only floor um, that allows us to to do more specific programming. We understand that first year student needs are are different from upper class students, um, and so our resident assistants, our RAs, those are upper class student leaders um, whose job is to to help you integrate and acclimate uh, to DKU. Um, we do different different things with them. Um, and all of our first year floors are gendered. When you become an upper class student, um, you'll be able to give a preference on um, living on a gendered floor, single gender floor, or a co-ed floor. Um, when you're an upper class student, we also will accept um, specific roommate requests. Maybe someone that uh, becomes your friend during your freshman year, or possibly the same person that you roomed with uh, for your freshman year. Within learning, we also have uh, the living learning communities. Um, that's really a first year, first year program uh, designed specifically for you. We cluster folks around interests in art, leadership, wellness, and global citizenship. We have an additional student worker, a learning community assistant, that does a number of programs focused specifically on those interests um, and help you engage uh, in those. There's field trips that are a part of that. Um, each living learning community, with the exception of the leadership, um, also has a faculty in residence. So that's a faculty member, a DKU faculty member who lives in the residence hall. Um, and the idea is, again, to be able to, to cultivate um, outside classroom relationship, mentorship, being able to, to share an interests and in, um, professors and students being able to see each other as, as human beings with shared interests. We also like to do educational events. Um, our, our resident assistants, RAs, and learning community assistants host a number of events uh, throughout the year for their floors. Many of those are, are about different aspects of learning. They're not necessarily academic, um, but they're, they're trying to help you learn how to develop good healthy sleeping habits or how to how to learn uh, how to engage interculturally. We have a number of procedures, processes that are also learning focused and we have study spaces available in the residence hall. Within leading, creating opportunities to lead, uh, we really welcome your active participation in your experience. Um, we want you to be able to share ideas with your, your learning community assistant, your resident assistant, uh, your residence life coordinator, that's a full-time professional uh, who also lives in the residence hall and, and kind of supervises the entire community de development in that courtyard. <clears throat> Back to Hogwarts, we also have Hall Olympics. Uh, that's a chance, a, a monthly event where you have the chance to compete in some sort of competition against the other courtyards. At the end of the year, we have a giant trophy that we award to the, the courtyard who wins. Hall Councils is a program that we're working to develop where within each courtyard, um, working with the RAs, the RLC, and the LCA in that community, um, this, this Hall Council of Volunteers really serves as a programming and advocacy uh, group for within the residence halls. We also have student worker positions that may be available for first-year students. We have an office assistant position uh, that generally we hire most of the people in the spring before. Um, so so uh, really spaces would only be available, uh, particularly in fall on a very limited basis. But I know that that's a question that we often get um, from prospective students and freshmen as well. Um, are there any paid opportunities to, to be involved in residence life? Um, and there is. Uh, within student conduct, one of the main things that we do is uh, revise and, and administer the uh, student handbook and the adjudication process. Uh, so hopefully we don't have to cross paths uh, through, through this process, um, but if there are any allegations of policy violations, um, student conduct is the, is the office that works to get those addressed. Um, we have educational interventions, what we're trying to do 
um, is not just punish people for misbehavior. We really want to help people learn and think through uh, what happened, what led up to this incident, um, what choices did you have, what choices did you make, um, what are some of the, the natural consequences of those choices, how did they impact others, um, and how can we move forward from this, and what might we uh, do different if we encounter a similar situation in the future. And within leadership programs, uh, the Global Leadership Academy is a semester-long, non-credit-bearing leadership course uh, taught by student affairs staff. We put a pause on this program um, this current year, but I'm really hoping that we'll be able to, to relaunch it um, in the fall when you all arrive. Um, well, we have like, a, 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 well, we drove our like, like, I don't know who it is. Like, like it's like my dad's like, trust. No, but that's it's their cars. They probably drive for us. Or, we do a number of um, uh, you, leadership sorry. panels. Uh, yeah, you drove us a couple times. Three times per semester. Um, this moved away. Um, where we bring in leaders from campus and even offsite, uh, offsite um, to to come on campus and talk to the students gathered about different principles of leadership. Um, how difficult it can be sometimes to to be an effective leader. Leading sounds good, um, but it can be very difficult at times. And so we have some really great real conversations um, about leadership at those panels. We also host the annual University Awards. That event uh, for this year is happening here in a couple of weeks, where we recognize students uh, from all different class standings, undergraduate, graduate, um, for academic, non-academic reasons. Um, and we are looking to do more leadership programs even aside from that. In the past, a couple of times we've been able to do a women's leadership summit that was volunteer driven, um, where we had about a half day day um, of panel conversations. Um, and we're looking to do more and hope you can join us in being involved in that. So again, my name is Charlie Clausen, um, overseeing residence life, leadership programs and student conduct. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or any of the departmental email addresses here. Thank you and hope to see you all on campus in fall. Thank you, Charlie. And next we have Jack. Uh. Hi everyone, um, we're at the Office of Campus Engagement and my name is Fanning Chen. I'm the coordinator of student clubs and organizations and this is my colleague Xinyu and Jia. Hello everyone, hello. My name is Xinyu, I'm the uh, campus coordinator of the campus engagement. Hello everyone, I'm Jia Tan, I'm the first year experience coordinator. Okay. Uh... Um, uh, campus engagement covers the arts and culture programs, uh, campus uh, programs, clubs and organizations, and the first year experience and orientation. And we will also cover a little bit of community center. And I, I will be talking about the arts and culture programs and club and organizations. Um, at DKU, uh, besides sports club, we have uh, academic clubs and arts and performance and community service and general interest. And in total, we have over 70 student clubs. Um, every year we have uh, big events. Uh, each semester we have club uh, expo, uh, which all the club can have the showcase and uh, new students can get involved and see, find your uh, friends and peers and have shared the same interests. And here is a list of the club and we have uh, a lot uh, arts and culture club and community service and a lot uh, sports club, which uh, athlete will cover later. Uh, here is some pictures. Um, this is the 
club export and we have some showcase and uh, a lot of club events. We have uh, loads of club events for you to attend uh, for the culture exploration. We have art performance. Uh, and we have this is the color round, which we have uh, each semester and a lot of performances, a lot of dance. Uh, besides club events, we also have uh, annual arts and music festival. And here we can share a screen, a video that uh, we showed this year's arts and music festival, uh, which is a week event. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, besides arts and music festival, we also have a weekly uh, and or bi-weekly arts uh, workshops. Uh, we have a lot of guest artists coming in DKU to give a performance or workshop. Uh, so you are very welcome to join any of those. It's all open for all the community. And uh, I will also talk about a little bit of our community center where our student affairs space and for which related to students' life is we have a performance cafe. Uh, we have capacity is around 70 students and we have a lot of event happen there. For the arts lab, we have small exhibition and um, some performances. We have weekly performances and workshop uh, related jazz uh, happen every Friday and for music, uh, for, for music, we have seven rehearsal rooms and have one band rooms and you uh, is all equipped and have all the piano there and the band band practice equipment there for you to practice um, and book. And also we have common space for the student club and have all the uh, student events. You can, uh, you can book the space to have your own events there. Mm, and there are some more places uh, just waiting for you to explore. Okay. Hi, yeah, everyone. I will share a little bit of the uh, local culture explore exploration. Here are some pictures of our students to explore the uh, local area of Jiangsu. You can see they are visiting the uh, beauty of scenery view and uh, they are um, meeting different people and uh, students from different backgrounds so it's a good opportunity to for others to communicate and engage with each other and uh, here are some major campus-wide programs we have welcome back weeks chinese new year celebrations senior banquet etc and we have arts and cultural um 
uh, programs. We have student lab programs like International Culture Expo, DQ Fashion Week. We also have the weekly student announcement and event newsletter. Here are some pictures of the uh, major events that we did during last um, during previous years. Uh, here are some pictures about like Halloween party, spring ball, and Thanksgiving dinner. These are all the events that are organized and initi initiated by all our students. So it's a good opportunity for you to get immersed to different cultural backgrounds and um, connect with each other. And this is one of our major uh, events is called spirit thursday it happens every month um and pe people students will give out all the um like donuts and uh, this month we will have a theme about spring so which is we were giving out all the uh, ching tuan to the students to for them to experience the different cultures um and it's also a good opportunity to show off um your like dq pride and um the next festival is about the de-stress festival. It usually happens before the uh, end of each semester. And it's all for the students to relax and have fun and just enjoy the spirit of like relaxation. And uh, last event, we had the uh, ring toss game, which is for students to like giving out a ring and um, to see which kind of stuff you can get at each event. Um, so I will move it to my uh, colleague, Jia, here. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. So uh, next, I'm going to talk a little bit about the first year experience program, uh, which de is designed to help you uh, to have a smooth transition into your life and study at DKU. Um, so I guess probably the first like major thing that you're going to experience is the new student orientation. So the orientation is a week uh, with a lot of different sessions that we offered uh, and opportunities for you to uh, uh, meet new people, uh, make connections with your peers, uh, with faculty and staff from different offices, and also to get to know about all the uh, resources on campus. So this is a really good opportunity for you to uh, start your life at DKU. And then throughout the semester, um, the program will uh, offer a lot, a lot of different events um, to also support with your transition and also to foster intercultural communication and also empower our uh, first year students at DKU. Here, um, I listed some of the signature like events that we uh, do throughout the semester. Um, so the one that you can see in the left is uh, called Moment, uh, which is a program that designed uh, to help students make friends through cultural uh, through like culture and city exploration. So we will went to like uh, different cities that near Kunshan and uh, we'll organize some like uh, culture um, events or like some um, like natural scenario exploration to help you um, like uh, get to know more about like the culture here and also to make friends. And, and the one in the middle is called Game of Life. This is also one of our like signature event uh, where we created like a simulated society uh, and we give students like uh, different like identities and characteristics and help them to uh, explore diversity through this event. And then the one, um, the picture that you can see on the right, um, this event is called Dinner with Strangers, where we will invite like uh, professionals from different fields uh, to come and share their stories and experiences uh, to help students to uh, like uh, think about like different new areas and to explore new things. Um, so we offer like a lot of different events throughout the semester for you. Um, and I also want to talk a little bit about the involvement opportunities with campus engagement. Um, so the first one is called Campus Activity Sport. Um, so this is uh, a student-led organization uh, that uh, plan like a lot of major events on campus, uh, like seeing you introduced before about the major events like Halloween party or Thanksgiving dinner. Those are those events are like uh, initiated by um, Campus Activities Board. Um, so this is a good opportunity to involve if you're interested in like uh, planning and organizing event on campus. 
Uh, and the second one is orientation leaders. Uh, so orientation leaders are a really important part uh, for welcoming new students um, into DKU. So like uh, in the summer, um, each of you uh, will be assigned uh, an orientation leader. Uh, and this person is going to guide you and provide support uh, as you make the transition to um, DKU. And we also have a lot of like, uh, like rising sophomore students applying uh, because they received a lot of support from orientation leader last year and they really want to give that support back. So this is also a really good opportunity for students to engage. Uh, and beside that, uh, we also have uh, like our office also uh, recruit a lot of student workers um, to support us with uh, different um, events. Um, so if you're interested in that, there's definitely opportunities for you to involve. Um, and there are also going to be student union plan in the future. Um, so that might be a good opportunities for students to get involved. Uh, and next, I would like to um, invite two of our student representatives uh, to share a little bit about their experiences at DKU. So here we're invited to uh, like students uh, who are uh, our student workers, uh, Zi Lin Chen and also Zi Ying He, to share a lot, uh, to share a little bit about their experiences. Uh, so Zi Lin, uh, would you mind to uh, go ahead and start it to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Zilin Chen from class of 2025, currently majoring in political econ, and I'm the uh, uh, campus engagement student worker with CU. We are called the UPA team, university program team, and I mainly focus on the weekly newsletter and announcement, and also we are currently preparing for the commencement party. And um, what I previously have done is um, uh, made, writing a proposal with CU uh, doing the reimbursement. And also the most important thing is that we need to uh, decorate the whole event for uh, like the commencement. And we have one event called Senior Banquet that we invite all the senior students to come and, and have a dinner together. We need to uh, think from the decoration part and to the proposal part, and also how to give the ticket and do the announcement uh, to do the promotion part. Uh, I think it is a really interesting experience for me. Uh, I have been staying in campus engagement as student worker like for two years. And I think it's a really important experience for me because I can know a lot of students from different uh, classes. And also it also helped me to build my own ability on uh, how to communicate with others, how to work as a team, and also how to get to know each other to do the event better. I think it's a, uh, it's a really great uh, job and it's also a great opportunity for all students to have a chance to know campus engagement. Thank you. Thank you, Zilin. Uh, next, uh, I'd like to uh, welcome Zilin to share a little bit about her experience. Okay, um, it's not okay if I um start sharing my screen. I have some pictures. Okay. Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Zin I'm from the class of 2025, currently majoring in global health with the track in public policy. Um, I'm currently a student worker at the Forensic Experience Program under the Office of Campus Engagement, but I also previously worked as uh, a member of Campus Activities Board, OL, and also helped with um, partner registration, which is um, an event under athletics. Um, so here's some picture of um, the events that I was involved in the first experience program since um, I think most of my work in the past few years was um, were about like coordinating and organizing events. Um, Dad also um, just mentioned some signature events that hosted by first experience. Here are just some other events that I think um, are worth mentioning. So, um, the picture on the labs shows uh, an event called Night with Senior Schoolmates, where we invited some um, students from upper class to from different disciplines to share their share something about, um, for example, their major, why they choose the major and stuff like that, so that 
um, for their students to get can get to know more about um, upper class students' personal experience within um, studying this major. And the pictures on the right just show um, the end of year celebration, which um, which is which is just for students to relax after finals at the end of the year. And we do different events for this celebration every year. Um, and as mentioned, I was also a member of campus activities for in my freshman and sophomore year. And here are just some um, pictures that shows like the events that we host, like for example, Halloween party and also um, the decades prom. And here are just um, some other events, for example, um, spring festival fairs and spring carnival. Um, during spring carnival, we also kind of invited student leaders from other schools like NYU Shanghai and Seattle Liverpool to join us to um, explore like all the things that related to springs that different clubs offers. Um, since like this is like not an event under Office of Campus Engagement, but this is also an event that I involved that I think is worth sharing. And you guys might um might hear more about this in the athletics section, but this is this park run, I think um I really recommend it because it is um hosted in um Davi Bay bi-weekly and this gets you to involve in not only DKU community but also like um you get to meet people from different ages who are love running and you get to also meet people from different running teams in Quensha and Suzhou. Um so I think if you like running um be sure to check that I really recommend it. And here are um all for my sharing. Um thank you all. Thank you, Zing, and all our speakers for joining us today and provide great insight to what's available at DKU. Um, before we close up, Christopher, do you want to also say a few words and say hi? I sure do. Everyone, I'm uh, Dr. Christopher Van Velzer. I'm the Dean of Student Affairs and the Director of Global Education at DKU. Um, I know all of you have your videos turned off, and I certainly understand the reasons for that, but um, I'd like to close by saying, you know, we're certainly so excited uh, that all of you have gotten your acceptance offers to DKU. Um, I've been here a long time, 17 years, um, and DKU is really, it's the mountaintop of, of all those years um, of my time in China. And I know all of you are weighing different choices on your journey um, and your, your college decision. Um, Mine began similarly, it wasn't to come to college, it was to come to China to study language, but um, you have no idea what's before you. Uh, we've got a really special and unique community on campus here at DKU, and we'd love to see you here uh, to be a part of it. So you've got lots of upcoming sessions. I know it's gonna be information overload for a lot of you, uh, but any questions that you have, uh, please feel free always to reach out. We're happy to connect with you and, and make sure that What's most important to you and your decisions at this point, uh, we're, we're quick to respond to an answer. And I look forward to seeing you here. Okay, thank you, Christopher. Um, please again, reach out if you have any questions. You can do so by asking on Discord or by reaching out to your recruitment officer. And um, again, thank you so much for joining us and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Can't wait to see you too, Sophia, and some of the others that posted about their plans for coming. <laughs> Thank you all. Bye, everyone.